What's up? I'm Ola the Swede and welcome to Ola Testing Shit. The shit of the day is the new Fortin NTS plugin from Neural DSP. For the past weeks, a lot of people have been asking me, Ola, when are you, uh, when are you demoing the Fortin NTS plugin? Ola, oh, give it to Ola, oh, go to Ola, uh, do the. It's here, okay? Take it a little bit easy. I'm doing the demo right now, okay? And you're watching it. So a couple of months back, Fortin and Neural released their Nameless plugin, and for me, that was probably the game changer when it comes to emulating a really good metal tone in a plugin format. Today I'm trying out the NTS, which is based on the Fortin Natos amplifier. And back in 2010, I tried this amplifier and uh, I have a video for it. And it was a life changing experience. Kinda. This is how I came in contact with Mike in the first place. And from further conversations with him, we started working together on my own amplifier. And after a bit of tweaks and redesigning, we ended up with my Satan amplifier. So this Natos is the ground design that later became Satan. And if you didn't get that already, Natos is Satan backwards. Natos is just a name for uh, people who don't dare to name things Satan. You know, it's like the upside down cross, except it's, uh, it's upside up. Yes. For this video I'm using this Solar S1.6 into my Apogee Ensemble interface into Logic Pro X where I have the NTS plugin loaded but I guess at some point you will be able to use the NTS plugin as a standalone app just like you now can with the nameless plugin. And as I look upon this beauty of an interface right here it looks exactly like the nameless plugin. No f bullshit, just bare bones and simple design. So here's the amplifier face with uh, familiar dials and knobs. You have the girth, grind, gain. These are the controls to shape the distortion of the amplifier. And then you have the rest here. You have a kill switch. It's two channels, clean and distortion. Depth, presence, master volume and so on. Now if we go check out what's before the amplifier, we have an additional couple of pedals compared to the nameless plugin. First of all, we have the Sewell noise gate pedal and we have a hex driver, which is more like a classic overdrive. And then we have the grind, which is more like a boosted pre-filter. Cabinet section looks about the same as the nameless with the same microphone options and I mean you can load in your own impulse responses and so on. And a nice little feature I found out right now when I was playing around with this is that the controls on the amp here are still adjustable even though you're in the cab section. Just a nice little touch that I really like. Alright, so let's try it out. Okay. Grind, gain, let's do this. Nice. Then you have the kill switch and the kill switch basically adds an extra gain stage. So... What the f*** is calling me? <laughs> Phone salesman. In the middle of my video. That's nice. 
that's the dryness. I love that. Yes. Exactly. Yes, making riffs, making riffs that suck. So when I use an overdrive with the Satan or the Nate Toss, I would chill a little bit with the, uh, uh, the girth and the grind knobs. The girth is the low end part of the distortion and the grind is like the high end part. What's good about this is that you can set your own type of distortion for your extended range guitar or if you're down tuned or whatever tuning you're in, it's a lot easier to kind of, you know, set a perfect distortion for you and your tuning. So what I do when I use an overdrive is that I usually set the grind pretty low and the girth pretty high and it will sound something like this without the pedal engagement. Basically making it sound a little bit more dull in that sense. So you can push it with an overdrive or a pre-filter. Nice, okay. Can back off the gain a little bit. Yes. Okay, let's try the overdrive here. It's more of a classic overdrive. So you could get more of that, you know, saturated classic metal tone. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, let's try out the cabinet section for a bit. This one microphone. What I really like about both these plugins, the nameless and this one, is that the cabinet section and cabinet impulse responses sound really good out of the box. That's dirty. I like that.
let me try out my uh Okay, drop C, everybody. Nice. Yes, please. So as you can see, I've already made a bunch of presets here and I'll share them somewhere or maybe, just maybe, Neural will include them in the final revision of this plugin so you don't have to download them. We'll just have to see. Uh, that's not my decision. It's, yeah, I, I, that's just a bonus. Sounds killer. Obviously, we have a clean channel, so we have the clean the tip of your penis every day preset for you. Not sure if Neural is going to accept that name. We just have to see. <laughs> Another thing with Ford and amplifiers is that. You know, even though the distortion are so epic and brutal, the amplifiers still have like a really, really awesome clean sound going. So. Yeah. Wow, shit. Oh my God. Some coffee on that, please. Again. Another f excellent plugin from Neural and Fortin. And I can say this even though the range of the girth and the grind is different, and you know, the NTS is missing the sweep knob and a bunch of other inner components and whatnot, this is as close as you can get to Satan in plugin form. Well, done. For more info, check out neuraldsp.com. It's like a hundred bucks or something like that. Well worth it. Guys, thank you so much for watching Ola testing shit. This is definitely not shit. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.